Creating oversized lettering. All fonts have a recommended maximum and minimum size, which is listed in the manual. There will be times when you will have a need to create lettering at a larger than recommended size. In this example, I'll create a Delft font lettering at 100 millimeters. You can see in the satin stitch, the columns are too wide to stitch nicely, as indicated by the broken lines. There are three options. Engage auto split, which will make a stitch penetration every seven millimeters across the column, or change the stitch type to tatami. Both these options, in my opinion, do not look as good as a tatami stitch running in one direction. You could use these letters as a pattern and create the new letters manually with a complex fill tool. In longer lines of lettering, this is time consuming. Or you can make the conversion automatically. In order to do this, the word object will need to be broken into separate letter objects. Once you break the letters apart, you will lose the baseline. I recommend you choose your baseline and kern the letters now. Then right click and select break apart or the shortcut key control K. Now select each letter in turn, right clicking and select convert to vector object. Right click again and convert the vector object to a complex fill object. You'll be prompted to input a stitch angle. To speed up the process, select all the remaining letters and convert to vector objects all at once. Now select each letter in turn and simply click the complex fill tool to convert to stitches and nominate the stitch angle for each letter. Do not be too concerned about making the stitch angles exactly the same yet. Now select one of the letter shapes and set up the properties for the fill. Right click on the letter and select make properties current. Then select the other letter shapes and right click and apply current properties. To add an outline around each letter, select the Simple Offset or Advanced Offset tool and add the border. For Simple Offsets, left click on the tool, select Zero Spacing, One Offset and Satin Column C. If the shape contains a hole, then select Create Offset for Holes. If you have the Advanced tool, then you can select the type of offset the stitch type and the width and color. Thanks for watching.